Have you seen the 1952 movie, The Greatest Show on Earth? If not, now's your chance to explore a circus world with lots of interesting facts. This classic film shows you what happens behind the scenes of a circus with all the drama, excitement, and emotions. When did you first watch this movie? If you haven't yet, what's stopping you? It has a great cast and a story that keeps you hooked. Out of all the characters in the movie, which one did you like the most? From the brave acrobats to the clever ringmaster, each character adds something special to the story. Whether you're into the performer's charm or the chaos backstage, there's plenty to enjoy. Now, tell us your favorite memory or experience with this movie. Share your stories with us. Whether you've loved it for years or just discovered it, we want to know what the greatest show on earth means to you. So, get some popcorn and enjoy this amazing movie. There's a whole world of wonder waiting for you under the big top. The show, released in 1952, had a huge effect on movies and society. Directed by Cecil B. Dimmel, it told an exciting story set in the circus world. Even now, many years later, it still has an influence. The significance of the show lies in how it portrayed the colorful and fascinating circus life. It showed off the performers' talents, their hard work, and the problems they faced behind the scenes. The show revealed the challenges and victories of circus life, keeping audiences hooked with its thrilling acts and dramatic storytelling. Also, the movie used Technicolor and impressive sets in a new way, making it a visual feast. It displayed amazing circus performances, stunning costumes, and detailed sets, pulling viewers into the magical circus atmosphere. Besides being entertaining, the show also talked about important things like ambition, friendship, and following your dreams. It gave a peek into human experiences, touching viewers with its heartfelt stories of love, sacrifice, and making things right. Today, the show is still important as a cultural milestone and a sign of how storytelling through film lasts. Its influence can be seen in later movies that take ideas from its themes and spectacle. To sum up, the show keeps audiences interested with its great story, amazing visuals, and important messages. Its effect on movies and popular culture is clear, making it a part of film history. The Greatest Show on Earth, a 1952 movie, entertained U.S. troops starting May 6, 1941. He became the first to be named an honorary veteran by Congress. He was a brawler up until the end of his career, provoking almost all of the younger actors he worked with on Reservoir Dogs, and actually having nearly come to blows with director Quentin Tarantino. He established the Bob Hope Home for Disabled Children in Port Arthur, TX, and contributed towards its expansion. The 1952 movie, The Greatest Show on Earth, gained fame for its impressive production design. The art direction of the film even got nominated for an Academy Award. The director had a knack for creating visually stunning settings, having received nominations for other films like Samson and Delilah. However, this movie stood out as a visual spectacle. Unfortunately, one of the actors experienced a life-changing accident while working on another film. Van Sickle, who had worked on many Hollywood productions, suffered brain damage during a stunt for a Disney movie. Despite being semi-retired, he occasionally took on roles to keep his skills sharp. The accident not only impacted his career, but also led to a legal dispute with Walt Disney Productions. Aside from acting in films, Van Sickle was also involved in radio entertainment. He regularly appeared on The Chase and Sanborn Radio Hour alongside famous names like Don Amici, W.C. Fields, and Edgar Bergen. His talents extended beyond just the big screen, showcasing his versatility across different mediums. In summary, the visual appeal of the greatest show on earth, along with the unfortunate incident involving one of its actors, sheds light on the varied nature of the entertainment industry during that time. Van Sickle's involvement in both film and radio demonstrates the diverse talents within entertainment. In the classic 1952 movie, he shared the spotlight with African-American actor Woody Strode, leaving a lasting impression on cinema history. Strode, who also worked with him in other films, praised him as one of the nicest men you'll ever meet. Their on-screen chemistry captivated audiences, transcending barriers of race and ethnicity. In 1968, he considered another road picture, tentatively titled The Road to Christmas, envisioning a collaboration with Bob Hope and the young starlet Haley Mills. The idea of such a reunion excited fans, promising more laughter and adventure. His influence extended beyond the silver screen. He actively participated in political circles, notably supporting the campaigns of Senator Jesse Helms. 
His dedication to causes he believed in reflected a deeper aspect of his character, showcasing not only his talent, but also his commitment to making a difference in the world. Looking back, the movie remains a cinematic masterpiece and a reminder of his and his collaborators' lasting impact. Their work continues to inspire generations of filmmakers and viewers alike, emphasizing the power of storytelling and the magic of the movies. In conclusion, it stands as a shining example of cinematic excellence, bringing together a talented cast and crew to create something truly unforgettable. Its significance echoes through the history of film, reminding us of the magic that happens when visionaries like him and his colleagues come together to create art. The Greatest Show on Earth, a movie from 1952, has some interesting facts. One thing to note is that Charlton Heston, along with Linda Harrison, is one of only two actors to be in both Planet of the Apes films, which were made many years apart. There's also a curious story about Bob Hope, who was in the movie. He said he got married to his second wife, Dolores, in February 1934, but there's no proof of this marriage, and he didn't officially divorce his first wife until November 1934. This makes people wonder if he was telling the truth, especially since he was in New York, far from Erie, Pennsylvania, where he said the wedding happened. Another interesting thing is the relationship between actor Henry Wilcoxon and director Cecil B. Demel. They had a big argument after making the Crusades in 1935 and didn't talk for almost 10 years. But they made up during the making of Unconquered in 1947, where Wilcoxon played Captain Steele. These details give us insight into the people involved in the movie and add depth to its history. The Greatest Show on Earth is a movie from 1952 that has some interesting stories from behind the scenes. One story involves Gloria Graham, who was married to the director, Nicholas Ray. She had a relationship with someone else, but Ray never found out who it was. In the movie, there are scenes where actors Betty Hutton and Cornel Wilder had to do dangerous stunts. They used stunt doubles for the far shots, but did the close-up scenes themselves. This made their performances seem more real. After the movie was made, one of the actors, Gloria Graham, was buried in a cemetery in Culver City, Cow. These stories give us a peek into what went on while making the greatest show on earth. They show us how dedicated the actors were. Even though there were challenges, the movie is still remembered as a classic. Charlton Heston, a big name in The Greatest Show on Earth, helped out Judy Garland after she got fired from MGM in the early 1950s. Garland was having money problems, and Heston let her join his radio show. They were really funny together. You can still listen to their shows today. Heston, famous for being in the Ten Commandments, said no at first when offered a role in the big country because he thought it might be too much for him. But his agent convinced him, saying it was a chance to work with great actors like Gregory Peck and director William Wyler. This choice was important for Heston's career. It led to him playing the main character in Ben-Hur, a role that won him an Oscar for Best Actor. Franklin Betcher, Heston's dad, used to play baseball for the St. Louis Cardinals. This adds a sports connection to Heston's life. These things about Heston show how kind he was to other actors, how he made smart choices about his roles and his family's link to sports.